<laughs> hey, Hello. Slayers. What's oh, okay. up? <laughs> it is your girl, Tiana. Christy was definitely early. What's up, Christy? AKA the Slag Slayer, creator of the Slag Slayer Talk here on YouTube and live stream to Facebook um, every weekday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time except Wednesday, where it's at 10.45 a.m. with myself and Brittany all bossed up. I have my lovely co-host, Rhonda the Pink Diva Studios, and we're doing a Jomar unboxing. So joining us today is Terry from Evolving Always Productions on YouTube and Evolving Always on YouTube on Instagram, <laughs> and Brittany from Brittany all bossed up on YouTube and Instagram. How are y'all ladies doing today? Wonderful. Nice, nice. Yes. I have put everyone's Poshmark closet in the live chat so you can uh, shop while you watch. We are going to show different things. And by we, I mean they are going to show different things that they have gotten in their Jomar boxes that they have listed or will be listing in their Poshmark closet and to various uh, platforms that they sell on What's up, girly? I'm glad you can make it for the Jomar unboxing. So Rhonda is going to start first. She has some makeup that she's going to talk to us about. And she's not prepared. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so Once she gets prepared, I can share it on the screen. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Well, yeah. um, as you guys may not may or may not know, a while back I posted that I was uh, actually sick of my closet. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> So I have over these last few um, weeks, I have been um, working on revamping my closet, offering things, trying new things, all of that. So I ventured into makeup and I had really never heard of the makeup um, uh, Becca Cosmetics until I spoke with my stylist. And she was like, oh, yeah, I used to wear that blase, blase, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, really? I'm like, OK. And um, so I decided to grab a box from Joe Mar and um, test it out. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is going to be there, is going to be, let me do it like they do it on YouTube. Here we go. It's just going to be our uh, Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation Colors. Now these come in uh, different colors. So uh, I do have this one in Walnut, Espresso, Fine, and And I tell you that um, I have tried, I've seen sample of these and they do go on effortlessly i mean as it gives you just a smooth flawless finish um so this is one of them I, these these are listed in my closet again it's coca walnut espresso and fawn and oh my gosh i really have kind of fallen in love with them so be stay tuned i'll probably do a little makeup toot for that so <laughs> the next one that i have is uh, the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I will tell you that this is a um, great, I will tell you that it's just great coverage. Um, I'll actually be doing a demo about the coverage of this, but uh, this particular color is mahogany. Ooh, remember mahogany? Mm -hmm. the movie? mahogany? Every time I say mahogany, I think of the movie. Yes, honey, Diana Ross, baby. But um, these, uh, this particular one um, comes in Mahogany Cafe, Cashmere, and Walnut. So when I ordered this, I kind of specifically kind of asked for certain colors just to, so that I could use something to demo with. Um, I was cautious on getting a lot of light colors, which I do have. But if I was going to demo it, I needed something that was going to match brown skin. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I also have the concealer, which um, I I haven't tried this yet, but this concealer does come in cinnamon, linen, cream, honey, and again mahogany. So. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I I'm hoping that these uh, sell well. I'll actually again be doing a, a little tutorial to show the coverage on them. Uh, eventually, I'll do a full blown tutorial tutorial using it on my you know doing my own makeup. But I really am interested in showing the coverage because what it is is that I found out what cover the coverage is great. It doesn't take a lot. That's the one thing I like about it. You don't have to use a, a lot because once you pump um, the one for uh, the ultimate coverage, it, this size right here, the long wearing, 
I, uh, it doesn't take much. Let me just tell you. And you could overdo it accidentally. So you can't be up there pumping a pump, 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 pump. No, we can't do that. You know, it take a few pumps. It spreads evenly. The coverage is great. So all of these, except for the concealers, are already in my closet. I'll be adding the concealers later today. But y'all, I got tired last night, so that's why they're not on there. But um, I hope you guys take a look at it. I do have swatches on there. I do have um, swatches on the arm. I have a picture of that. And I also just have a swatch of the color itself. So again, they're in my closet, the studio on Poshmark. Yes, thank you so much for sharing. I was switching back and forth on the screen, which I'm hey, so sure well, you saw. I know. Hey, funny, funny cat. Hey, funny cat. Funny um, cat. So yes. <laughs> her, her link is higher up in the live chat. If you don't see it, just scroll up. It is the peak. It's Pink Diva Studio. Which of course is just poshmark.com slash closet slash pink diva to get to her poshmark closet. I think I can put it on the screen. Can I do that? Possibly. I think yeah, possibly. if I can find it. Okay, uh, here it is. <laughs> yes. I was like, let's not tempt fate, child. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Right. So Terry, are are you ready, darling? <laughs> Well, uh, yes, ma'am, I am. <laughs> the first Yay. thing I'm going to share really is not Joe Mar, but I just wanted to share it because I love giving my friends shout out. So Brittany did her first online sale on Instagram, and I know she's going to do some more. And I got this from her as a Talbot's um, handbag, and it is nice. absolutely beautiful. And I got it oh, super God, quick, I and I mean... Just a gem, and I know she's gonna be doing some more, so I just wanted to share that real quick. Sorry, sorry, I just had to do it. So, uh, thank you for that, Brittany. All right, but let me go ahead and, and start sharing um, some things. Um, I've been utilizing Joe Mar for a while, I love their stuff. Uh, one of the things that I got is some key sunglasses, and uh, I think some people think they're pronounced Quay, but it's actually key. So, I do have these in my closet so i highly recommend they are super fire and it's this time of the year and you gotta protect your eyes it's a must must you know what i mean well, so i'm glad you are. um spoke on the pronunciation are really cute, Terry. Oh, thank you i call it uh quay all the time i'm about to show y'all the screen because i have some kui what, what apparently sunglasses no, but but oh, a lot it? of people do. You're not you're not by your yeah, you're not by yourself. A lot of people do. So and, and it just and I can understand why, because think about quail is Q U. It, it is pronounced quail. We don't say qui or a quill. I don't know how else we would say that, but right. yes, I, I totally get it. But anyway, so say those again, are in my Terry. closet. Say it again. I'm say, sorry, say, say it again. The pro how, to, how to pronounce oh, it again. Because I call it quay too. Yeah, it's keys like you're going to get your key, like your key to your door. That's how it's pronounced. Gee, yeah, I would have never figured that out. All right. And I got these. Now, these aren't posted. Um, I'm not sure if you can see these shoes or not. They're slides. They're perfect for this time of the year. I will be posting them. But if you see these and like these, you know, hey, reach out to me. These are a size 10. And I do believe I have a size eight as well, but those are not posted yet. I did not and they're seven brands? Yeah, those are called seven. I love That's seven. Brand. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. They have like some of the cutest shoes. Um, so I'm, I'm with you on that. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll the next item. <laughs> so the next item I have, I've never actually heard of this brand, but I really like these shoes. And these are posted. They're electric karma and they're espadrilles. And they're absolutely, I just love the color scheme on these. These are in my closet. And I just love the color scheme on these. These are going to be great with so many things that you wear, you know, whether it's dresses, shorts, jeans, you know, we can go on and on, right? But just will look amazing with so many things. So, and that is in my closet. And it's called a camel color. So that's the color that it's called. And I do believe I have both sizes available that's posted. I also have the milk makeup. Um, this is actually a, it's kind of like a kit. 
So it comes with a beautiful acrylic storage box. And this is actually in my closet. And what comes with it is natural dry shampoo, um, molecular water makeup remover my, um, wipes, excuse me, some Albane um, mascara, gel brow, um, eye pigment, lip color, roller blot, and eyelash curler. So there's a lot that comes in this. So, and this is in, this is posted. In my closet. I'm going to show it on the screen so they could see all the things that you named here. Yeah. And I think I've got oh, free shipping yeah. on that. A lot of the stuff that I've showed you, uh, free shipping is available. And if not, reach out to me, you know. This one is currently expedited, but what she's saying is she takes reasonable offers. <laughs> Yeah, and I see that one says $4.99, right. but I can offer free shipping if you reach out to me, especially being that you came to the Swag Slayer show. <laughs> anyway, these are some... <laughs> these are, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just came out with these sometimes. I love it, too. These are also <laughs> Electric uh, Karma espadrilles, and I love these. These are kind of like, I guess, a reptile or a snake-like print. I hope y'all can see the true mm -hmm. beauty of these. And they're so cute. I've got a couple. Um, I hope I posted both sizes up there. But the, the one that I'm showing right now is a size seven. But I do believe I have a sign, size nine in these. I think I posted both sizes or whatever. What have you. So they are posted. Um, this is a vintage bag. I love it. I love that that is cute. Like that. Um, and if you're somebody that's like a, a PETA person and you're worried about, oh, you know, you harm the animals. You got to realize these are feathers and feathers drop off of, you know, birds. They drop. They don't have to like plug them or anything like that. So I used to go to like um, places um, where people just, you know, look at birds and stuff. And you'll just see all the feathers. So it's not like they're harming the animals or anything like that. Or birds is what I should say. But just a beautiful, beautiful color scheme, beautiful bag, very unique and has accordion type style. This is vintage, mm -hmm. of course. So this is a one of a kind. You get this and people are just going to talk about it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's a one of a kind type deal. And last, but I'll show this as well. Um, this is, you know, we're starting to go back out again. And this is a perfect bag for this. This is also vintage, but, you know, this is a perfect bag to go out. You know, you're wearing this killer. It could be a simple black dress or you can be wearing something else. But in any case, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag um, to carry with you and look just stunning in. You know, it's going to, you know, help accentuate what you're wearing. And that's it. And thank you so much, Tiana, for um, offering this platform and allowing me to share this. Thank you, ladies. Of course. You had amazing items. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Brittany, it's you, darling. Okay. <laughs> Come through, Brittany. Come through. All <laughs> falls up. So this particular box is the trendy handbags. So I'm hoping that they're trendy. No. Are these posted yet or are they they're posted not. later? Okay, so these are not posted. Let me show your closet so they know where to find you. Um, so this is her closet page. And then I'm going to put her link on the screen if I could read my own screen. Here we go. So and this is where you can find her Poshmark closet where they will be listed later. So um, keep a heads up for that so you can find them in her closet along with all her other amazing items. Okay. Gonna bring and you just back like I showed y'all earlier, the bag that I got was from Brittany and you can shop with confidence. She's a super fast yeah. seller with super products. No so. doubt about it. So this is like Joe Mara's trendy handbag box. And so that's what these are. It was just 10 bags. So I guess I will be able to show them. I'm like, wherever the glare is not at. Oh, that's so is that a metallic gold? It's Kenneth Cole reaction. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Very Ooh, I cute. I love that. That's pretty. Yeah. Love that, Brittany. It's, it, hey, I'm just happy that it's new because what happened know. was I think my buy cost was like $8 and some change. So I'm going to need for these. To, I mean, this tag says $50. So hopefully, you know, it'll go well, you know. That should yeah. go really well. It's very attractive. Yeah, the yeah. Green thing is like it, it's it's in. So I think that one goes well. And Terry was right. People are going out again, so that is a great bag for that. This one, I wasn't sure. I mean, this is the only thing that I see is these Roman numerals right here. So I was like, Wow. I don't know what else this is, but 
You know, they have you Google lensed it yet? I'm sorry. Have you Google lensed it yet? No, not yet. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my God. Yeah, it's so it beautiful. Is. I mean, that is like a long strap inside yeah. of here that goes with it as well. So you could just. Will it be oh, like a crossbody? Because I love a good old crossbody. Yeah, it body. can be because it's a long strap. You know? Oh my God. Uh -huh. It's so beautiful. It, it, it is. It is. is. Very unique it. piece. What yes. are the Roman numerals? I could try to look it up while you're showing. It is um, the Roman nose is X I I X. Now what is? See, I don't know. That's what I said. I don't know my Roman numerals. That's that is so look beautiful. It up while you're still showing. Yeah, that's so Sad, beautiful. True. This one is just a nine wester, but apparently it was in like a boutique because it says Amy Lynn. But it looks like this one goes around like. Oh, I, I, love, I love waist bags. Oh my gosh. That. That's a pretty one too. Great for when you go, you know, if you're out of town and you're doing a little shopping, but you, you know, you want to keep it, but not everything. I think this kind of stuff is more up my alley because like I carry a wristlet and that's mm -hmm. been com for no big purpose. Just jump it up. It's so, beautiful. I like that. Yeah, but don't take it off and whoop the kids now. No, I'm just <laughs> I don't believe I, I don't I didn't actually whoop whoop my daughter is my way. I know it's a controversial topic, but I don't believe in it either. So you I, I think Ooh, that's that, gorgeous. Oh my god. A round bag. I love those. Yes, what? this is so cute. Circle. Oh, that's cute. very cute. Is that oh my nice? god. And then you got that's a nice bag. Trendy, I tell you what, they got that right on the dollar, you know, right on the money. Oh my god, I love it. And another long and strap. That's Terry's color too. So she yeah. might buy a new bag from you. Yeah, that's <laughs> it is a pretty bag. Oh, uh, excuse me, Terry is not the only one that loves pink. Okay, what is my name? Pink Diva. Okay. But you know that's uh, her pink color. That's her shade of pink. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> We're this gonna be is wearing just a new day. By the way, it's just a new day. Okay, yeah, you're just you're just trying to get the uh, bidding war up there now. I'm just joking. Ooh, <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you? Right. Right. It's another uh, crossbody too. Hey, Penny. Oh God. But you got your little. Oh, so you know, you cute. Thanks. It is so nice. WDNY is the name. Hey, that's um, that's a uh, leather it's bag, tall. right? This is like a felt kind of. I like this. Is it leather on the it outside? It kind of looks like it's leather on the outside. This one ain't getting listed, so. Uh oh. Okay. I'm All right, today. Well, thanks for hyping us on that one. Okay, so I found the brand, Brittany. So I'm gonna show it on the screen. Penny, just so you know, we're doing a Jomar unboxing. The all three ladies had a box. So let me share my screen here. I'm just a tech person today because yeah, I, okay. I don't have a box. So it's like called um, Collection X I I X, you know, whatever oh, that Roman number is. Okay. So put you put the word collection in front of it. I also saw it on Poshmark, um, but I just am like showing the Google now. images for it. My so yeah, just put the word collection in front and it'll it'll come up. But see, like here's one that looked like the one you had. It's just yours was way cuter because yeah, it had the um, right. you got more of a design. It had the pattern because this is kind of plain. But the mm -hmm. one you had was um super cute. What very cute. Happening? Okay. I don't know why that opened in a different window. But yeah, I'll, so it's collection X X I. This is the logo here, right here. Okay. I got yeah. it. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I mean, what else am I here for but to help y'all out? So this is her bag that she has from that brand, Slayers. Wow. I love that. That is really good. So then we got like more of a, to me, it's kind of grandma-ish to me. Because, you know, I don't know about that. should be the first thing that sell a lot of all of them. What? Right. Bueno. Right. But not taco. Bueno. You know? <laughs> Shoot. But what I like about it is this little thing right here, that's kind of cool. You know, you got yeah. a lot of little zips and it is really like a soft. It is not a, obviously real leather, but it is really soft. So somebody might, might like that one. Then I got this another little crop. Well, actually this one's, is it long enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, because you can um, adjust the straps. So... I like that shape. It holds it's more than that shape. It's a nine wester. Nine wester. I love it that you call it that. Yeah. 
I like, I, I like that one. I ain't in love with it, but I like it. Okay, I have a few more. So, oh yeah, best for last. This is just Dickies. I'm starting to keep it. So when you go thrifting, yeah, you know, put that it's on. Practical. Right. Mm -hmm. It or put it practical. across your body. You know how they wearing the um bags yes. today? They not put them on their waist. They wearing them across their chest. Across their chest, yes. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty. Ooh. Let's see if you could get out the light. That is absolutely stunning. I love that. that is. It's just like a silver tone. I'm trying to tell what color it is, though. Is it silver and white or? It is. See that? that is so absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I have an off topic question. Brittany, open that bag for me. You see that piece of plastic inside the bag? Yes. Uh huh. Do you yeah. remember when they used to put the silicon um, bags inside stuff to keep the moisture out? Yes. Now yeah. they just put that little piece of plastic and I'm confused. I'm like, is that keeping moisture out? Like I'm so confused because I get those all the time now. And so I was like, I has anyone else seen them? Seen those. Can I you take it out, Brittany? Oh yeah, you can take that. Uh, I mean, I know you can take it out, but can you show them is what I'm saying. I get that little piece. How does that keep moisture out? How is that a substitute for the I know I mean, it's off subject, but I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm not sure, but you're actually asking a good question, that. scientifically It's a good question. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. And this is like D Margo or something. I don't know. D M A R G E A U X. I've never heard of that. New York. So. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that brand yeah, either. I don't know what mm -hmm. that is. Not but not it looks great. <laughs> but it's a beautiful bag. It was cute. This was my favorite. Oh my gosh. Brittany? Brittany, so cute. you can't buy that. Uh, you need. We need to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so cute. I love it. It is cute. This was my favorite. I was like, oh, this is my favorite right here. Little yes! Yes! Betsy Johnson. You can kind of tell. You know I love I mean? Betsy. I knew it as soon as you pulled it up. It wasn't Me even too. I was like, okay, that's a Betsy Johnson. Because yep, Betsy's my girl. Yo, my oh, teacher. I just gotta open up. Oh, I need to put the stuff out of it that way I can take pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, easy. I don't ask this ever, and I don't like it when people ask in my closet. But uh, can we trade? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Well, since we're bringing up trading, I'm gonna have to hit ter uh, Terry up for those slides because you know I live the life in slides. Oh, okay. I <laughs> For some yeah, shoes. I, your size. I do not do purses. And they are. Oh, they are. oh you might got shoes for days, Brittany. I got shoes so for some days. days. Yes. <laughs> I will trade but for the I shoes. I love oh, shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm about to say, too. I would trade for some shoes. I just thought about that. Let me hit you up, Tiana. Melissa <laughs> said I'll trade for some whole, cold, hard cash. And that's what I say to people when they ask me, do I do trade? I say, yeah, for cash. Ugly. <laughs> Solamente. But the reason why I said that with Tiana, because Tiana actually has <laughs> shoes that I really like. Um, yeah. So most people that ask about the trading thing, is, they don't have. They don't ever have anything I like. I'm gonna be straight Not up. But I, I try to keep it business on Poshmark anyway. Right. So that's just me. Exactly. Yeah. And it's against Poshmark <laughs> policy for any new Poshers out there. You're not supposed to be trading. So let's just make that clear. We know each right. other here. <laughs> we're so, right. and we're not trading on the platform. We're just mailing each other stuff. So disclaimer. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> but I love. Yeah, so I clear. If I see that trendy bag, I'm gonna have to try to get that. Try it out. That yeah. was actually pretty nice. Yes. Yes. I, I might be kind. Of, I I thought I had sworn off selling bags, but you had a good box, and so now I'm interested That's to see if I can get a hold of one. <laughs> yes. More easy to photograph as well. I like photograph. That's just yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, I can sit down and do it. I don't have to stand up, so I can just you know. I wish I had one of those little lazy. Oh, my coming today, Brittany. It will be here today. I was oh, hoping it would come before the show, but I'll have it. It's in my car, honey. Yes. It is in my car. Because then I you can just car burn it. That you don't have to keep picking it up. Yes. You just burn it. it I love it. Here. I'm so excited. It'll make for a good yeah. video on the listing. Yes, it will. Yes, yes, it would. That's why I got okay. it. Yes. Yes. That's why it's in my car. So I can use it for that sole purpose. So, and, so, um, uh, Tiana, oh, I'm so yes. sorry for my rudeness. Forgive me. Is that the I'm one that you're talking about for 20 something dollars? I'm gonna show it again. Let me find it really quick. Um, and Rhonda, please say what you were saying. I apologize. My bad. 
No, no, no. I was just saying that's the reason why I, I put it in my cart that day, because, you know, if you have smaller items and you want to make a video for uh, your your listing on Poshmark, I think that that's the perfect tool to use. Because you don't have to key and show this side, move it, show this side. That eliminates right. all of that when you can click a clicker and it gets to turn and right. shoot your picture, shoot your picture, shoot your picture. Yes. So, so you are so right, Ron. I totally agree with you. So Tiana, do you have like an affiliate link? I wish. I don't know how to make my affiliate link work, child. So okay, no. That's no problem, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Yeah, just send it to me because I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm glad y'all brought that if back. If I get like a, a big one, I could put my mannequin. I could put Tracy on it. She has like a glass bottom. <laughs> Tracy, on. Tracy, I love it. Right. Lola that's Lola. Well, if it's big enough. There she goes. Well, y'all know, honey, Lola was, Lola's going to want to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> Because okay. she already got an attitude. I don't show her enough. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I bought this one. I bought the white one, so it was a dollar less. I don't know why the picture is not showing all of a sudden. Um, so I got the white one. But it uh, has this uh, light right here in the middle, and I'm a little concerned about that. I think I'm going to put a piece of tape uh, over the light because I don't understand the purpose of the light. So, But it, it does well, spin. Well, I can't give it to uh, yeah, that light. Um, uh -uh. It might be a good thing. Does it do floors too? Stop, Penny. <laughs> think of what the use of does the light do floors? Anybody <laughs> know in the audience what the use of the light would be in the audience? If someone knows, that'd be great to share. I'm, I'm just thinking that imagine. it just gives it that. Ex I think it gives that underglow to your product. I don't know if I want that it though. Depends on which product you have, yeah, though, right? I, don't think that you yeah, I agree with what you're I, saying, though, Wanda. Yeah. Uh, I think it just gives it that underglow for your product, but I don't think that you would want to so utilize small. that Shouldn't all the, the whole time. Thing be alike? Yeah, yeah. Like that's hmm. weird. I don't know. And maybe, maybe if with your product bigger. placement, maybe if with your product placement, then it shows mm -hmm. you know behind that. So it just kind of gives you an extra little juice. <laughs> yeah, it's a sticker over mine. Word. We got to juice it up. Okay, <laughs> juice it up. I'm going to put a big sticker so I don't even have to worry about it because I don't need an extra headache. Like, I done placed it wrong. It's not working. No. So, but I it, it's on its way. It told me it was like a couple stops away or whatever. So I'm, I'm waiting to get it. If you oh, get a I'm doorbell ring. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. Yes. I plan to use it today. I cleaned up part of my office. It's not all clean, y'all. But I cleaned up part of the office. And I plan to use it today because I'm putting shoes on it. Because, you know, I sell mostly shoes. Um, I do have jewelry, but I'm not retaking the jewelry out to redo it. I'm only doing the new stuff. So, right. And that's, oh, that's no. new do. stuff. Right. And I wanted mm -hmm. to give a shout out to the audience because we got eight in the chat and I see eight thumbs up. So you okay. are phenomenal. You. Got this they did good. They did not forget today. <laughs> Y'all did good today, honey. Yes. So, ladies, since you've ordered boxes from Jomar, and I know these aren't your first boxes, are there any pros, cons, or tips that you should give the Slayers to be on the lookout for or to consider um, as they're buying their boxes from Jomar? Yes. I would say um, try to get in when they have that free shipping because the shipping, <laughs> I don't appreciate that $30. It's usually $25 to $30 for me, somewhere in that range, and sometimes more depending. Like if you got two boxes or something, it might be, you know, it's kind of expensive on that shipping. But other than that, so that but that brings your total, you know, your total buy cost up. And so, you know, if you can get in on that free shipping or if they say they're having 20 percent off or some kind of discount, take that. Or you can use Rhonda's code or you could use. I don't know. I have a code, but I'm not 100 percent sure I got to. I got to get my stuff together, but I think it's Brittany all boss stuff. But Rhonda's code, what is it? Pink Diva? Pink Diva. So you can use the code. Use a code. Use somebody's code. And her code yeah. is in the description. The Pink Diva yeah. link and everything is in the description. <laughs> okay. Do it. <laughs> you know, because that'll help get you to 10% off if you don't have anything. Yeah. Like they're not running a special. Because sometimes when they right. come out with the new boxes, they're not. So, you know what I mean? Like what you right. want. You know, right. then you can't get no discount. So, but pay attention to their discounts because they do run them regularly. So, and I'm then also for yes. their what is that? Uh, 
their new program. They just came out with that, like where you have to sign up for it, but you can get it like a rewards. That's what it is. It's in a rewards program. So that way, when you buy stuff, then you get points and then you end up getting something for free. Yeah. <laughs> I like free. Okay. Um, oh, I'm don't sorry. we all? No, it's okay. Just before I forget, um, mm -hmm. Brittany, Brittany All About Stuff is going to have her own unboxing with comps and everything on her channel. So just be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're subscribed on um, YouTube and hit the notification because she's going to do more in depth. So oh, it's yeah. Terry at Evolving Always Productions and so is Rhonda at the Pink Diva Studio. So then that way you can see more in depth with comps and other things that they got because they have more stuff that, of course, we didn't oh, showcase yeah. today. So I don't want to forget to tell you guys that because they have other great stuff in their boxes that they're going to show on their own channels. And you don't want to forget that. And then, of course, every Everyone will have their own promo code on their channel um, at the same time. And then something else I was going to say, and I forgot. So go ahead, Terry. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say um, that, yeah, we all have promos. We definitely um, use um, Rhonda's promo if you're watching this today um, to get that 10% off. Um, but the thing I do want to recommend is wherever you shop, always strive to become an affiliate. Um, yes. Look for the link um, because you're, you, you know, the thing we always use the term resellers, but you're still an entrepreneur. Right. You're an entrepreneur that reselling is an aspect of your business. So you really want to up your game. So make sure the people that you're doing business with that you can get an affiliate with them. So, you know, um, they do have a link for you to click on to become an affiliate. It may take a while because they kind of do like a, um, they have a certain time period or what have you. So don't expect that, you know, right away that you're going to become an affiliate. It doesn't work that way with Jamar, but they will eventually um, get back to you. So I just wanted right. to mention that. And I totally agree with Brittany. Look out for the shipping discounts because yes. whew, that shipping can be something. I'll be trying to catch the free shipping and just anytime they have discounts, I try to catch those. Yeah. Thank you. And then remember, if you do have to pay for shipping because it's something you really want, just make sure you take the total price and divide it by the number of yes. items so you know exactly what your cost of goods is for each item. Please don't forget to do that. Right. Yes. Did you have yes. a tip, Rhonda? Um, so what? what uh, well, yes, you know, <laughs> share. Um, <laughs> My whole thing is um, I have been pleased with all of my boxes, really and truly, for, that I've uh, purchased from Jomar. Um, I usually stay within um, nothing above $3 and a little change per item. So that's kind of where I try. I gravitate to those type of boxes because, um, you know, if you don't know or don't know, I only sell plus sizes. So uh, uh, routinely, plus sizes cost a bit more than your uh, smaller sizes. But mm -hmm. uh, most of the boxes I receive, I normally get that price point of, you know, like $3, maybe $3, but three between $325 and $340. So uh, that's kind of how I maneuver that. And I have to say that I've, you know, um, had some success with the boxes. Now, um, my issue with Joe Mar, besides shipping, which we've already covered, is I definitely recommend getting in when they have free shipping. I also, if a box is sold yeah. out, set the uh, notification so that you know when that box returns. Uh -huh. um, you know when they have it available again. That's a really that really has helped me out, um, and you know my ordering. Uh, the other thing is I again I say this and I mean it when I say it, y'all. I love the boxes. My problem is not with Jomar, it is with the brand. And mm -hmm. I, I, I can just not stand all these florals. You know, just because you're, you know, you're a curvy girl, you're plus size, a big girl, however you want to say it. Um, I don't want to walk around looking like a florist exploded on me all the time. So I don't tend to even buy those things on a personal level. But, <laughs> but... You know, there's something out there for everyone, and I want to offer those the, those uh, items to whomever needs them. But on a personal level, I could do without it. I love a good old pattern. Um, I love bold colors, neon colors, things of that nature. So I think that my problem is not with Joe Bar because they they send me what they have. Right. But these brands just need to come on now. Look, we don't all want to walk around looking like uh, need a flower. Here's a flower. Take one. 
And you get a flower. You get a flower. You know what it reminds me of, Brenda? That is my pet peeve, y'all. That is my pet peeve. It's like the Wizard of Oz. It's like, here's a tent. Let's throw some flowers on it. No, it's the field in the Wizard of Oz. Moral. Remember, they got to the flower field at the Wizard of Oz, and that's what it looked like. It just laid down in it, honey, and just yes. wallowed in the flower. Yes. <laughs> I, Rhonda, so, I'm so other than that, that yeah, she I mean, has spoke life into me because that's the one I thing guess. I hate when I'm shopping, you know, and I'm I'm a curvy girl, and I'm like, hey, you trying to wear all these flowers? I'm a very mono, right. I think monochromatic, right. I think. I'm not sure if that's correct. Yes, yes. Words, yes. monochromatic, I'm yes. Of, now I'm wearing floral today, but this is the extent of my floral. It's, I don't like loud stuff. I'm just and it's mainly black, stuff. so yeah. <laughs> and I like it. I think and, of grandma and, when I think of loud stuff, or Madea dress, Madea, no mm, ma'am. <laughs> Well, I, and I love to be bold and bright, as y'all can tell. But you know, that means that I need to go towards the neons and and you know, bold colors, which I think we all should. You know, we all can get away with wearing and not look like we just stepped out of um, uh, the florist. You know, I just think that you know, there's other ways, and I'm so looking forward to getting me some bold and neon colors because I'm definitely going to uh, style those and share those. But I yes. can't do nothing with these floors, child. I just take a picture, <laughs> put them up. Uh, Lisa was saying from Jules Jules, she's turned on the notification, but she never gets them. Have you guys had that experience? I haven't. No, I actually do. It's one. possible, I guess. I think it's possible too, but I think you might want to check because none of mine go directly to my inbox and in, in the email. So maybe it's in the spam folder and updates like in, oh, on my well. Gmail. That's where I found my first one at. You right. can get your text settings too. You can text get them sent back to you. Yeah, and those work yeah, really I have well. Text settings. Mm-hmm. Because especially after you buy a box, they quick to text you. Oh, thank okay. you for buying this box. I'm trying to get you to hurry up and buy the next one after you done bought that one box. True. <laughs> can you blame it? Hey. No, can I fell mm -mm. for it? Because I fell for it. Because I tell you. <laughs> I tell you where they make that those coins at, honey, is that shipping because that shipping oh, okay. can, that shipping can slap you across the face. But oh, you man, have to not making any money on it shipping. Does. Let me be one hundred percent honest. I still sell swag slayer boxes. I don't advertise it like I used to because the shipping is ridiculous. I will put fifteen right. pieces in a box, and depending on where it's going, it could cost ten, fifteen, or thirty dollars just to ship the box and i'm like right. are you uh, joking so at first they was on pirate ship as well right say it again and that's even on pirate ship correct yeah 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 Crazy, so man. i had Crazy. free shipping and then i was like i can't afford this i'm not <laughs> making any money so then i changed it to 12 dollars shipping and then i would still pay the difference and then i just raised the price of the box and went back to free shipping but again i don't advertise it like i was you can still get a box i have plenty of inventory i never run out but that shipping you never know how much the shipping is going to cost until the buyer puts their address in and that's where it gets very oh, complex. Nice. So I'm sure Joe Mart is and not that's making exactly any money. How Joe Mart, well, that's exactly how Joe Mart uh, does it. I mean, if it's traveling yes. from Philly, then all the way here to Texas, baby, that's an arm and a leg. Yeah, I, I you know. Agree so with that. I, I definitely recommend. Yeah, I definitely recommend. Um, you know, catching it when when they have free shipping. Or if it's a smaller box that you're going to get, then that makes a difference as well. But either way you want to go, honey, use that Diva code. I surely appreciate you. But yeah. I'm going to tell y'all right now, though, uh, Tiana brought up a good point. Shipping is expensive. I definitely can relate. But I did want to say, being that mm -hmm. she was talking about boxes, for those that didn't know, um, Brittany did a um, unboxing of a box she had got from Tiana. It's on her Instagram. So feel free to go on Brittany's um, all bossed up Instagram. Um, I know she's got it up there somewhere and it yeah. was really a great box. So she's like Tiana said, it she's really got was. Box, so, yeah. so hit her up. Okay. I done sold some stuff already. So <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Bonus box too. I might go on there and unbox that too. I got a little mm -hmm. bonus box. No. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. 
<laughs> we like bonus boxes. I'm looking okay. forward to my box from yes. Swag Claire Fashion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have it ready for you, darling, whenever you're ready. Yes, <laughs> darling. You know, I have to get, uh, have to get real, uh, I have to dig through because Rhonda's always like, you got a box of me? And I'm like, no, right now. And she's like, when are you going to have a box of me? I was like, when I can find some stuff worth selling <laughs> because you um, have to look and accumulate plus size. Uh, I commend Rhonda yeah. for only That's selling true. plus size right. because you are constantly looking like you pass right. up so many things because there's so much trash compared to what you really want to sell. So when I told her, I was like, I got a box for you, boo. I was like, I got you some good stuff. I got some new attack stuff. I was like, we good to go. But it's hard to come by. So when I do see stuff, I just accumulate it and I put it away for her. So when I have enough, I'm like, I got you. And I'm so appreciative of that. I, I, I'm so appreciative. But while we're talking about fashion, let me just bring up something that uh, has that I've been seeing this trend, and um, I just want to say I want to say state this before I bring this up. It's really you, you know you really have to search for good quality yes. plus sizes, especially when you're going into look for four x five x six x and above. But, but specifically, specifically, you know, between those sizes, because you really have to search, you really have to be um, cautious. You, you want the material, you want them good quality, bottom line. So it hurts my heart when I see, and y'all, I'm not picking on anybody, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not. But it hurts mm -hmm. my heart when I see smaller sizes, take a four or five X, cut it up, and design, make a whole design out of it for themselves, you know. Now, I'm not opposed to you designing anything, but if you wear like a 12, why, why not just get a 16? You know, that's going to be big on you. I mean, I just, it's hard enough for us to find plus sizes of good quality. So when you find something like that, why? I thought I was going to cry, y'all. And it's just like this Uncle, trend I that, that I've been seeing lately. It. I, it's wow. like this trend that I've been seeing and just cut, you know, just cut it up, make a slit here, cut it here, make it low, tie it around, wrap it around your neck. I mean, whatever. But I, that is, that is my new pet peeve. I just can't stand it because it's so difficult to find quality plus sizes. Now they made a pay, they may have paid a dollar or two for that, maybe even up to five dollars. And, and it's their business that what they want to do with it, but it doesn't stop the fact that it's still hard enough to find these pieces, and then here you are cutting it up. So that's all I gotta say. I it just that, no, I'm gonna have just, to agree with you. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that, Rhonda. Um, and, and like you said, it is their money at the end of the day, so I get that, but um I, that is kind of hurtful because being a woman that uh is plus size and does not, not want to dress like grandma, right? period. <laughs> Even when I become one, I ain't going to want to dress right. like one. Right. Oh. It out there. So it's really hard to find trendy, you know, I wear for women's size, and there's more women that are actually our size in the United States than smaller women. <laughs> but the fashion industry, right on sorry I'm losing connection the fashion definitely yeah and well, I agree yeah, because and you know the they may not woman know. is at least a 16 right is at least a 16 so mm -hmm. that teeters over in two plus sizes so yeah. I'm just yeah. saying why uh why and why I pick up this 4x this drowning you know it's drowning you you cut it up you redesign it Again, it's just hard enough to find quality plus sizes as it is. And you really have to dig to find them. You have to, I have to be intentional of where I shop at mm -hmm. uh, to find the, uh, some good quality plus sizes. So when I saw that and I've just, it's like a trend. I see it every day, every day, every day. And I'm just like, look, I'm sick of it. And actually Duran, the Texas, um, the diva of Curves, Texas talked about it a little bit because, and I told her, I said, oh my God, I'm so glad that you said this because I was going to address it because mm -hmm. it's insane, you know, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's their coin, not mine, but I'm just but saying. But I keep speaking it about it is um a good thing because they may that may not have crossed their mind they may not even realize oh my gosh it is you know 
a treasure hunt for real to find quality pieces when those are your sizes. And here I am taking it kind of for granted and just doing something else with it. So maybe they can be more mindful because now it's been brought to their attention because I haven't seen it. I didn't know until you brought it up. And I'm not crafty DIY at all. So I would not have done that. But maybe someone else <laughs> hearing you say it. And I'm not either. I, and right, I would have done right. I wouldn't have ran out and got a, a 8X and just redesigned it myself either. You know, right. now if I was going to do something like that, then I would have offered a whole style to to sell to someone like a larger moo moo belted and, right. you know, boo -boo your hoops and, you know, cute little pair of, uh, you know, shoes. So yes. that's how I probably would have designed it and redesigned it because I'm still keeping the plus size lady in mind. Right. But well, I, I that, that in no way. Go ahead. Go ahead, Terry. No, go, go no, ahead. No, go ahead, Rhonda. Go ahead. No, I'm done. Seriously. I just, you know, because I get on my soapbox about things, so I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to bring it down. No, but your soapbox is important. So finish that statement. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, I just think that, you know, I, I'm all for uh repurposing um uh, and things like that but this to me wasn't like repurposing this was just like i'm gonna go over here and get this big girl size and i'm just gonna shred it up and i'm just gonna make a whole new design okay that's fine we're i guess that's fine if that's your way of thinking but you are you aren't thinking that um plus sizes are hard to find especially when they're stylish especially right. when they have good quality you know it's just, and it, that amazes me sometimes because plus sizes cost so much more than smaller sizes. And sometimes we get crappy, we get crappy quality. That's true. Yes. So, you know, yes. okay, I'm done. I'm gonna, and I'm then, gonna be oh, real quick on that topic, because I know you mentioned before that you were thinking about selling men's clothing. Um, are you still looking, Rhonda, to sell on men's, I guess, big and tall, because they don't call it plus size? Right. I actually have been really looking into it and researching. I, I actually re uh, um, reached out to um, a guy friend that I know and just kind of getting some ideas, you know, from him and things like that. Now, I'm good at picking out your men's clothing, but right. I just want to know what particular thing will sell. Right. You know, What's because I don't want to go out. To find. Find. Yeah. Right. You know, I don't want to just go out all willy nilly and things yeah. I want to be intentional about what I buy. Like we all started on Poshmark, we were just willy nilly and then we still have stuff we can never get oh, rid of. Oh, willy yes. nilly girl. Okay. Right. <laughs> What's okay. Right, Terry? <laughs> what is Christy saying? She says, um, and I don't know why it is so hard to find when there are so many plus size people in the US. Yeah, stop playing and get with the times. It, we are the most obese country. So you would think it would be easier to find um, big and tall and yes. plus size clothing. It, because it, comes down, it comes down to money for one thing. So it's, you know, for a company's perspective, mm -hmm. it is much cheaper for them to make smaller sizes. Um, and then, too, because we do yeah. have some plus size people that shoot when they come out, we like they are Melissa. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like right. that. And it's unfortunate because I think some people yeah, are like, well, it's your fault that you're plus size. But that's not the case all the time. There, some you know, people are there born plus size. Actual genetic, right. There's actual right. genetic predisposed things that create people in different sizes. It really is. Now, granted. United States has more of an issue because we are a country that have, I guess, what we call uh, more, more access to so many different things. Like we have right. a really great health plan. We, we have a lots of extensive foods, um, 10,000 restaurants. So I, like in my area, there's a restaurant on every corner. Yep. Um, and so if someone does not metabolize properly, um, then that's what happens. Because there's people that metabolize properly mm -hmm. that will never be fat. And there's people that they do not metabolize right. properly. And it's unfortunate. So. Right. And plus, our foods are made out of well, all and kinds a lot of stuff of that we shouldn't eat. <laughs> that's true. Right. That's well, true. That's, that's a whole that is topic. key. Yeah. Yes. Right. And 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 some of the brands, uh, some of these brands, I mean, they have I have read articles and some of them said, you know, it's, it costs so much to cut larger sizes. Well, OK. Yes. And that's your choice because that's your business. But I think that at the end of the day, just like I'm I'm done, I'm done with loft. They decided to end their plus the size. 
they decided to get a plus size. And I was like, oh my God. And I bought so much stuff from them when they had um, their plus sizes. And it sold very well. I think I have one, I think I have one loft sweater left. But I, I tell you that why? Why are you doing that? You were making good money. I know at least I was right. spending with you, you know, because when they had a clearance, I scooped all that up. And they had but, good quality know, okay. items at Loft. Good yes. So quality we read items. the article. Yeah. That's true. Well, I'm interested in checking out their spreadsheet and, because a lot of times when companies make like certain changes, it comes down to, you know, what what's happening on them. And it may be because you know, Loft is not the brand it used to be, realistically speaking. So it may be down to that they have to cut corners whichever way they can. So I'm interested. I'm going to look that information up. I'm trying to see what they're, you know, what their revenue is like. What they're, yeah. Right, right. And, I mean, well, you're good is, at doing that. I don't know. And then I guess if they're looking at it from a business standpoint, because I do try to always look at things from a business standpoint as right. I build this multi-million dollar business, how would I move and react and change in a time that's always changing? I mean, I don't know their company or their story. But I guess for me, I'm just saying if I was in a tough situation, would I cut a offering that I'm giving or would I cut people's jobs? Like if those are the only two options I have, mm -hmm. you know, I would probably cut an offering before I cut people's jobs. But then at the same time, right, right. I think, okay, where have I spent my capital that I don't have it liquid to work with to still be able to do both? And, you know, we, all of us are financially educated on a different level. And then all of us are emotional and we spend our money sometimes emotionally instead of logically, like money is logic. It is two plus two um, is four, no matter what you do, no matter how you feel about it, that does not change. And so sometimes we find ourselves in those situations. So uh, I just read the article that was um, out about the loft, um, but I did not do any further research. So Terry, I would love if you did further research um, to fill us in on that. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're following her on Instagram. <laughs> at um, Evolving Always and on YouTube here at Evolving Always Productions. So when she puts that information out, we'll be more educated on the topic of what's going on with the loft. Yeah, because what it right. may so have Tasha came said, down to, and yeah. I don't, yeah, and it, what it may came down to, and I don't know if this is the case or not, it may have came down to, they checked to see what was selling a great deal for them. And that might've been the size that's not selling. Cause I'll be honest, I haven't. I bought some loft one time to thrift, and I've got some that I'm probably going to sell on a um, Instagram sale. But I'm more so of a torrid type person, so that's me though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am. So too. I think. Well, I um, love it. May be that they didn't sell that much, possibly, but we don't know. We'll find out. True. True. I know. And then, like um, I said, I did. Did. I mean, when. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna talk about wholesale vendors because I I I bought something from a wholesale vendor. And oh my God, I no offense, but I knew that it was um overseas sized. Yes. And because um uh, I had uh my granddaughter and my daughter try on two different sizes, and I was like, what? what? This is insane. So I knew at that at that moment that it was overseas, um, that this person had got it from overseas and it was overseas right. sizing. So yeah. I think that's one of the things that when it comes to plus sizes, you just cannot uh, always overseas uh, plus sizes because they're not going to fit like our plus sizes. They're going to fit like their, uh, you know, smaller size because they're cut smaller mm -hmm. over there. I'm glad you brought that up, Rhonda, because, you know, I do a lot of wholesale and I want to cater to plus size for, for lots of reasons, obviously, because I know there are more women out there that are plus size. I can model my stuff and it's so hard for mm -hmm. me to get a hold of it because I'll get it. And it'll be something like you said, that's overseas size. Like I got this beautiful um, coat that I was like so excited about. I can barely get my darn arm in it. And I was like, <laughs> so then and then I hate it because I did say darn, by the way. But, okay. Yes, you're good. No slaps. You don't have to drop anything but, in the door, in the jar. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. But anyway, what I was about to say is, and it was so unfortunate because I hate when that happens because then I have to go into a detailed description. I do the measurements. I say, so it's going to say X size, but it's actually this size. And I don't like doing that. I, yeah, I hate right. that. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's very complicated out there in the wholesale industry. I have to go out there and do that. 
And mm -hmm. I ended up just giving those dresses uh, away to a um, couple, a few ladies, because I had three in three different sizes. So I, I knew uh, some people who, you know, liked them and commented on them. And I was like, I'll send them to you. Because at this point, it's I, I don't want to go through having to explain, well, this is a 2X, but it fits like a 12. Right. You know, I just don't want to do that. Yeah. And I think you know, this but is like so funny. I've actually sold items like that. And I get so amazed. I'm like, I'm amazed when they buy it. I'm right. like, you really buying this? I'm like, I don't Because I always say when I do it, like, nobody's going to buy it, but they actually right. end up buying it. <laughs> well, that's good to know, though. Right, mm -hmm. Christy. Plus yeah. size is even petite. Yeah, because she got a store, boxes. so she's gonna have a whole bunch. Oh wait, are yeah, you between her and Christy, honey? They are thrifting queens. <laughs> yeah, her and Christy. I need Christy just on the show, just to show all her stuff. That that's what oh I my need. God. Okay. That, that, that will really take up the whole show. Yeah. That's gonna have to be in two or three yes. parts. Part one, part two, part four, part series. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, Christy's I think for both of them, actually, for Tasha and Christy, because yes. they're both. And, and if y'all get a chance, go to Tasha's. Um, it's Sugar Bears 04. Yep. Um, Instagram, because she actually did a live and she showed some of her pieces and really nice pieces. And they did. were plus size. A lot of them were plus size. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. And those cute black and white pants, so. honey. Mm, love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love them. Love them. Definitely want to. Um, oh, Christy, say excuse y'all. <laughs> <the four -part laughs> series. Christy, it's listen. The truth, Christy. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth, sis. It's the truth. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so she's gonna get a box today. Or a sale. Right. So she could send out boxes. So definitely be following her on Instagram if you need a box of inventory. She's going to um, have those available shortly because she did uh, close out a store. So she definitely has a lot of good quality items. And again, if you want a sampling of what those. Yes. And if you want a sampling what those look like, find her IGTV on her Instagram so you can see kind of what you're getting. But yes, ladies, thank you so much for unboxing your Jomar box, giving us tips and tricks That's on how cool. to get that free shipping and how to get notified via text message instead of email. I didn't even know that. Um, I have not been graced with being able to get a Jomar box because I blew all of my money on Amazon. <laughs> So yeah. in the future, I hope to get a box. As long as you're making money. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, she she did as long correct. She's making those coins. Three stores that she bought out. Oh, I said it. Yeah. Oh, only three yeah. stores. Okay. <laughs> only. So how do you close uh, out? How do you close out three stores? You know what I'm saying? Close, she a boss. You close out three okay. stores. Yes, she is money. True. I push up to her. There. So boss, we're gonna start boss, with Brittany. Please. And then go Terry and then go Rhonda um, with the shows that we have. But before Brittany goes, tomorrow we'll be here at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Libby from Consignment Chats. She's Consignment Chats on Instagram and here on YouTube. So definitely um, come by tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk with Libby about how she got started and why she chose consignment over just regular reselling and get some tips and tricks on maybe adding consignment to your resale life or just hear about why maybe you don't want to add consignment to your resale life. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Brittany. Please tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, well, I basically now it's like in a row, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The the newest show that I have coming up is called Hello Sunday. Um, and that one's uh, going to be kicking off this Sunday with a bunch of giveaways and a bunch of special guest, uh, guest speakers. So it's going to be exciting. So you want to tune in for that. That's this Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then, as always, I have my Motivational Mondays, which I moved from IG to YouTube. So that's on YouTube at 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time as well. And then on Tuesday, I have Success as a Mindset. Um, but this week, it's normally at 7 p.m., but this week I'm doing the Posh Kings. I'm interviewing them, and that will be at 6 p.m. because they got to get their beauty rest, okay? So <laughs> that's that on that. So that's pretty much uh, my lineup. So if you want to catch me at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, basically, in the evening, except for uh, on Sunday, it's at 5. And that's that on that for now. Yes. <laughs> and just a reminder, I am per. Penny's request. I'm so glad she requested. I am putting together um, a Google document that'll have all the shows. It'll be like a 
the Swag Slayer TV guide, and it will just show where everybody is and at what time so you can tune in. So Terry, will you please tell the Slayers where they can find you and when your shows are? Sure. Well, actually, I am doing uh, one main show all the time. It's on Sunday. Normally, it's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This week, it's actually going to be at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I will be interviewing Lewis Moore, and he is in Germany. And I just want to be polite and respectful to him because it was going to be like 1 a.m. Even though he said he would do it, I just didn't want somebody at 1 a.m. to right. show me. I just thought right. that was a bit yeah. much. So I will be doing that at 3 a.m. I do a lot of things on Clubhouse. So every um, day, um, Monday through Saturday, I am doing, I'm a part of a Instagram engagement group. We share a lot of tips. We're engaging in your Instagram. There's a lot of things that you can learn and it's not people that are just resellers. There's a lot of business owners. So it's a great way to network. So I highly recommend you come out and do that. That's 1115 a.m. I'm also doing a share and sip tonight on um, on the actual uh, Poshmark Club. I'm doing that. Please come out. Me and um, Trisha uh, Band 99 are going to be doing this and we're going to be sharing people's closets and we recommend you share as well. And I am going to buy something from someone's closet. And Carla Armani from Unequal Match um, also committed with me that she's going to do the same. So, you know, you come on out. We're going to share your closet, get some exposure, and you may get a sale. Okay. So that's tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Saturday, Rhonda and I on Instagram uh, live, we actually um, produced a show called um, Spotlight Saturdays. And we want you to come out and spotlight your business. You don't have to be a reseller. Um, that's one of the businesses you have. It could be other businesses that you have because most of us are serial entrepreneurs anyway. But spotlight what you do. We want to hear your stories. And um, I got a lot going on, but I don't want to take up everybody's time. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> Terry, that is just fine. We want to hear what you have going on so we know where to come and get good and pertinent information. Rhonda, um, you're up next, love. <laughs> Well, well, as you know, I have br host brunch with Diva every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern time on IG. Um, every other Wednesday, which next Wednesday will be my um, hump day happy hour here on YouTube, 4.30 Central time, 5.30 Eastern time, uh, non-scripted show, uh, audience participation, a fun prizes, whatever falls up, that's right. what we're going to talk about. And of course, is you know, us women, we can have like five or six different conversations in one setting. So <laughs> it's really fun. I hope you guys come out, enjoy it, have a chance to win some prizes. I mean, uh, it's all, and I'll actually be at this one because you know, the first one I my, had technical <laughs> difficulties, but but my people, my people handled it just fine. So I will actually be involved in this one and not in the comments. Um, on um, Sunday, the 28th, um, myself and Terry will be hosting a plus size reseller uh, posh and sip. I don't even, I sometimes I don't know if to call it coffee and posh and coffee, coffee, <laughs> sip, but you get the general gist of it. Right. Um, we'll be hosting that on again on March 28th. I believe it's 11 o'clock um, Central Standard Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, I do have uh, the link in my bio, and I think believe that Terry Valvin always has the link in her bio as well. Uh, we will be. Uh, I have to. I'm gonna warn you now. We are promoting heavily on this because we want a great turnout. We have some great guests, uh, the Posh Kings. Uh, number one, they took time out of their day to come and join us. Uh, we also have um, Doreen, the diva, Tex the diva of Curves, Texas. I always screw that up. And um, we have a couple more people. I can't remember right offhand. Uh, and we have a Simply, uh, Thrift, Simply Thrift Chick, I believe is her name. Karen, she's phenomenal yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we also have a, um, you know, a very special guest. So we'll mm -hmm. have... Uh, you know, prizes, giveaways. It'll just be a amazing uh, event. I I was really dedicated to doing this, and I'm so happy that Terry wanted to join me on this journey with this. Um, I just uh, I'm really excited about it. You guys know I get excited about you know people and events. So uh, keep that on your books. Go to the um, 
my link and my profile the pink diva studio evolving always and get your ticket it is a free event but you know we're just uh this is just a good way for us to keep up with who all will be attending yeah. um i think that's really it and of course terry already talked about saturday and you guys gotta come out because the show is not about terry and i the show is about you guys and what you have going on so i mean come out here what it is that you have if it's a sale if it's a giveaway um if it's reselling you share your closet if it's non-reselling come on out you know let's get some let's get some movement to whatever you have going on because that's what it's all about is, you know community giving back helping each other out uplifting each other i'm done <laughs> I, and i'm gonna say what i think because you are phenomenal that's why she's a diva we need some more sponsors because like, like she said, we want this event, event to be amazing. We want this plus size posh and shit to be like rememberable. Like, like yes. yes. So we need some more sponsors. Yes. We want you guys, <laughs> we want it to be talked about for months and months. Remember that yes. plus size posh and shit? When y'all gonna do another? Baby, <laughs> let's go, let's get it. I'm all about supporting the uh, plus size because why? Because I am. Right, right. So yes, Melissa, I got you, girl. It was all Penny's <laughs> idea. I'm gonna just put in the work and get it done. <laughs> so and yes, Penny yes. is we're all gonna promote that Penny. Uh, TV Guide by Swag Slam. Yes, all yes, ball. yeah. And Britney's, yeah, it's without the Britney, so it's just all bought. Let me get it. I had to ask all her that today, up. Britney. I mean, Penny as well. I was like, Britney, girl, I can't find your in such a way. Just all bossed up, so and that, that's okay, how our time. Because she wants up. everybody all bossed up, so remember that. <laughs> yes, I do, yes, and that does. listen, that's, right. that's what you that's know, what that's she's what dedicated to. Everybody right. being bossed up, not just me. So that's and it's right. time for me for me to help everybody else can be bossed up as well. That's right. And, the, and I love that you're thing, and I love that you're putting a together that that uh, spotlights that. Because yeah. you know we right. that's what we need, you know, especially during this time, we need to uplift each other mm -hmm. and, and yes. help each other figure out what exactly our journey is. Do we need to pivot? Do we need to stay? Do we right. need what what changes can we make? And I love the fact that you aren't calling them jo uh, goals. I said I almost said Joel's goals. You are calling them small improvements. That's right. key because that can change a mindset. Yep. When well, that's what it's all about, because success is a mindset. You know what I mean? That's one of my yeah, shows. Yeah. I do firmly believe in that. But anyways, I didn't want to take up too much time on it, explaining it all. But it is kind of important that you do know that they, it actually has a purpose. It's not just a chat that we just get in there and talk about whatever, which you can. Don't get me wrong, because we want to have fun, too. But the purpose of it was to come together because there's so many different people, like Rhonda said, in the community that do different things. And if we all come together, somebody might their high might be like because it's we're going to discuss highs and lows. So whatever your high was for the week, whatever your low was, and then we'll talk about it. And, and most likely there'll be somebody in there or in the chat that can probably help you with that. So it'll be yes. easy, you know, and then we do some prizes because we want to keep it exciting. We do not want it to be boring at all. So <laughs> I'm, I'm like Rhonda, I'm really excited about this event. As a matter of fact, right after this live, I'm going to go ahead and post it. So you yes. guys will actually see it on <laughs> Instagram. It just took me a while to get all of because there's so many people that's sponsoring, which I was surprised. But there's a lot of sponsors, so we'll have plenty of su or surprises. We'll have plenty of prizes <laughs> or gi giveaways, should I say? Some of them cash, some of them ebooks. I mean, a lot of people just came out, so I don't I don't have any tickets for this event. That's what I meant to say is that it's on my uh, YouTube channel. So you can just go to the link in my bio or the post that I put out here in a little bit. will have my YouTube link and everything in it. Mm. Thank you. I'm done. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brittany was like, take me off the screen. But um, on Saturday, I almost forgot. So Tina from Splendor Lily Posh hosts Teachable Moments. I think it's twice a month. Don't quote me. Right. But this Saturday, March 20th at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's the time. <laughs> um, I am actually the guest speaker and we'll be talking about uh, creating a YouTube, the basics of creating a YouTube, the fundamentals and what you would want to do to get started and to move on into the future of a YouTube channel. I'll give examples of people who have um, just started, how they're moving, how they're changing, what the content they give, how they get engagement, different things like that. You do have to... Um, 
what's the word? DM Tina at Splendor uh-huh. Lily Posh. I think yesterday y'all said I spelled her name wrong, which I probably will spell it wrong uh-huh. again today. But um, I'm gonna try to spell it right and put it in the chat. It's a free event, but you have to get the the webinar link. It's a webinar link from her right. to be able to attend the event. So I was doing something else while Brittany was talking and I was supposed to be making sure that I spell her name right. So give me a second because I just want to, I tried to pull it up on my computer, but I'm not signed in on this computer. Did you um, just want to put her, her um, Instagram name? You want me to put that up there? Or yes. I just want to make sure I spell it correctly. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do that for you. Please. I appreciate that because I was going to put it in where you could click on it. But um, I'm not signed in on this computer. So I was like, great. I can't even go over there because I'm not signing on my Instagram. But um, Terry's going to put it in the chat. That way, if you want to attend the event or any of the teachable moments, because she does do it. Last time we talked about digital currency. The time before that, we talked about taxes. And the very first time, I don't remember what we talked about. But each one of them is informative and they're free. I took notes and I actually implemented the information that I got at the teachable moments. and was able to improve what I have going on inside my own small entrepreneurship life. So I definitely want to tell you guys about that, because even after I speak on this Saturday, there are going to be so many more speakers. And she has a small lineup already on her Instagram page that you can see who the next speaker is. So you can just put on your calendar which topics work best for you that you want to hear about. So I didn't want to forget about that. Don't forget to come tomorrow until 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to meet Libby from Consignment Chats. Um, And then we will um, resume next week where... Monday, I will be announcing how my um, Amazon life is going and then um, give an update. And then my coach Nisha from Geeky Niche will be here on Thursday to kind of talk about that whole month and how I got from zero to where I got. I'm not going to tell you all I am yet. Y'all got to wait till Monday. (laughs) Um, Friday, tomorrow is actually my last of the 30 days. Um, So we'll see where I am at the end of tomorrow. And then, um, okay, here's Splenda Lily's Posh's, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Here's Splenda Lily's Posh's name. If you just DM her to get the links for any of the teachable moments, even if you're watching the replay and it's after March 20th, it's a series that she has. So you can always DM her to get information about teachable moments. It Um, has you in it. It's missing the U, Splendor. Oh, Splendor. Like, okay, and I like, D O U R. Yeah, sorry. I, I, know. Put the link, <laughs> yeah, I put the link up there, but I saw that it wasn't clickable. So I apologize. Yeah, okay. it should you. be. You put it here. It should be clickable. No, I didn't see it, it come up. It didn't come up because I put it in chat. Go I don't to, know. Um, I'll put it in the description, guys, because let me hold on. Mm. Yeah, it's showing that it's not clickable. And uh, so, mm. yeah. You would think I would have my life together, but y'all know me. I ain't got my life together. But um, what I was saying is on Thursday, my coach will be here. But then on Friday, we have a feature for Feature Friday as well. Don't ask me who it is right now because I'm trying to multitask because I'm copying her profile. I'm going to go over to my own YouTube channel and put it into the chat. So give me a second because I just want to make sure that you have it, especially if you're watching the replay and you're like, wait, I want to know about teachable moments. I want to be able to attend them in the future because to have a great free event to actually get good information that you can use, because there are a lot of events out here that I go to and I'm like, Ooh, I could have just been doing something else for an hour. This is not one of them. This is actually every time I take notes and I'm able to implement this into my business. Is this the chair on? Okay. All right, yeah, it's loading now, guys. Phone, yeah. I was yeah. not muted. Sorry, guys. Yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't know why I didn't. The link didn't go up there, but it didn't look like it was clickable. But I did actually put okay. a link up there. Boom. Not sure why. Yeah, I put it in there. Oh, could you put it in the private chat? Well, that explains Dear. that, man. <laughs> I was like, but I, I don't did it on my phone, though. <laughs> I actually did it on my phone. Really? Yeah, I did it on my phone. So I don't know why. Oh, I did that's pretty cool. in the private chat. Yeah, I don't even see your comment at all. Oh, oh, I yeah, see the, it's not yeah. Thank you for yeah. your assistance and having my yeah. best. Sorry I should have had my life together. Yeah. That would yeah, have been that. responsible. <laughs> so that's it, um, guys. Thanks so much, Christy. You're going to be on here next time. Um, we love having you come by. Um, mm-hmm. oh, many thanks. I'm so glad well, that Penny is so sweet. She is yeah. so sweet. Lady. You got to come on the show, Penny, because Penny put out a great unboxing on her YouTube and then she didn't put out any more. That's okay. We're going to coax her out. <laughs> She's going to come <laughs> on the Saturday here. I didn't know that. I'll have to yes. subscribe. When you she put does. It in the 
can somebody i don't know if you put the link in there i'll go straight to it you know like it's yeah, easy I was about to say, put your link because i need to make sure if yeah. i'm subscribed as well i'm sorry subscribe but this is not ig <laughs> right i'm, 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 subscribe. Subscribe. I'm like i don't know it's like yeah i don't know I if it's i'm subscribed but i just want to make sure yeah, I don't remember if it's the same name, but Penny, put there. your YouTube name in there if oh, you even know one. it. You said there's only one. That's okay. We don't change it. We don't change it. Yeah. Yes. You know? yeah. That's okay. You will do more in the future. Until then, come hang out with us on the Slack yeah. Slayer Talk. You know. You know how we do. Okay, because time is money and money is time. <laughs> We are going to head out because we have money to be making and I got Amazon FBA boxes to be shipping. So thank you again, Slayers, for coming to hang out with us. Um, I think she said her closet, I mean, her Insta, her YouTube name. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can find it on there. Plus, I'll leave it in the description. Plus, I'll DM all y'all on the screen so y'all um have it. I keep saying y'all. I need to eat. I haven't eaten today. So bye, Slayers. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you.